Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today, I haven't done one of these in forever, but I am doing a 10 ways to style featuring the classic white button up. So I started this series on my channel a while ago and I actually have a white button down styled 10 ways on my channel, which I think is like two years old at this point. It's very old and I wanted to do something new, something fresh. So y'all know I am a button up queen. I'm gonna do a button up collection very, very soon, but I always have at least like five of them in every capsule wardrobe or every single season. I like playing with colors, with textures, with just fabrics, everything, okay? But a basic cotton structured button up in white is going to be your best friend. If you don't own one, I don't even know how like I don't know I think if you don't own one maybe you think that they're just like dated or they can't be worn casual I am very casual of a dresser but I still love a button-up it can be worn so many different ways I love challenging myself to kind of try different ways to wear them since I wear them all the time and you can obviously interchange them for blue for pattern you can interchange it for everything so Button up is such a timeless piece, but I wanted to dive into a white one specifically today. So I made 10 different outfits, and most of these outfits are like transitional, so you can wear it into the fall season. Some you can wear with um, in the summer, late summer, early fall. But yeah, I'm super excited to share them with you guys. I hope you enjoy um, my little ideas. And if there's any other specific item that you want to see styled 10 ways, five, 10, whatever, let me know in the comments down below. But I also have a playlist, which I will throw up in the cards here. I think the most recent one I did was like overalls and then I've done um, jeans and a white tee. I've done the athletic dress, specifically I did Abercrombie back then. Um, I've done a bunch, blazer I wanna say. So yeah, again, I will leave them up in the cards so you can check them out as well as the playlist down below. But let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna start with my outfit outfits and then I'm gonna go into kind of like other ways to use a button up. So let's jump in. Okay, so this first outfit that I'm gonna share with you is honestly one that I've been, I've had actually these pair of jeans, they're a baggy pair of jeans that I got from H&M. I bought from some influencer that I saw on Instagram. She looked so cute and then I got them and I was like, ew, no. I missed the return window and these pair of jeans were sitting in my car for no lie, five months, four months at least, like a very long time, maybe not five months, a while, okay? Past the return window, I was like, no, I do not like them. I almost donated them. But I tried them on and I was like, you know, I don't actually hate these. And I think that they can look cute. So very fall, I threw on my Birkenstock clogs, button up shirt. I think this outfit is so just casual, especially with that big chunky tan knit sweater. It just screams fall. Like I need a warm beverage. It's already pumpkin spice season. Like we're going all in, but that outfit is so cozy. And those jeans are really tight in the waist. I'm not gonna lie to you borderline but you know it is what it is they'll stretch um they are true rigid denim so they're not like stretchy and they kind of cinch you in at the waist and then bow out in the legs and i think that the way it looks with the white button up is so easy and so classic um and i just went there for the very standard way to wear a button up which is like buttons collar up you, you know what i mean the standard way um and i love the way this outfit turned out so maybe this inspires you to grab those pair of jeans that you bought and you hated and you missed a return window try a style with white what white button up maybe you'll be surprised just like i was okay this next outfit i really feel like you could wear to an office setting if you're allowed to wear shorts because these trouser shorts are some of my favorite pieces that i found and i'm so happy they're back in style like i love a longer like short these ones i got from old navy and they're so or not from old navy abercrombie they're so cute love them in the navy um and with the white button down you're gonna go and then you throw a sweater over the shoulders stripes to tie in the navy so cute I clearly paired them with a pair of classic casual sneakers because I think that's such a fun way to kind of like meify an outfit, meify, kellyify an outfit, if you will. Um, I love sneakers and I think these sneakers are cute, the new gazelles. You can make them a little bit more dressier. I don't know, not dressy, but you can take a very classic casual outfit or a very classic structured outfit with the trouser pants and the button up and the sweater or whatever and then make it very casual coastal with the sneakers. 
Could also pair it with sound buzz. So cute. But again, if you're in an office, throw in some flats, throw in some loafers, and you're, you have an office outfit. So cute. One of my favorite ways that I styled the white button down that I've had in a while. They're so cute. And I think this would make a really good transition outfit into the fall. And if you get cold, throw in your sweater. Good to go. Okay, so I also love pairing, like I talked about, contrast. I just showed an outfit that was very similar with the structure and the structure. I love unstructured with structured. So my favorite way to do that is with a pair of distressed denim shorts and then I decided not to tuck in the shirt at all. So just go full, make it very, very casual. Just unbuttoned, untucked, or not unbuttoned, untucked, hanging out, love it. Pair it with some really cute clogs or Birkenstocks, whatever, just make it super casual. And then I threw on my little sweater, um, my sweatshirt, my little crew sweatshirt. You can wear whatever one you want. Bonus points if it's from some place you actually visited. And I found one from Canisius Lake when I was just on vacation. And I'm so happy about it. Arlo and I have matching ones. So cute. So just throw that on. It's the epitome of like a summer outfit. Okay, and then of course you can dress it up. You can wear it out to dinner. I wear white button-ups all the time to dinner. You can do silk, of course, but I like just a plain cotton structured one with a pair of ripped denim, again, contrast, and a pair of heels. So cute. It would also look great if you slicked your hair back, threw on a red lip. Perfection. Okay, the next way I wore it is like my standard, very just like the way I wear them 90% of the time, and it is with a straight pair of jeans, a pair of little sandals, and that's it. It's just so simple, so easy. It's probably my most fun way to wear it, but I love pairing like a little lacy bralette underneath it. I have this Belkinet bra. I own it in black and in white from Amazon, and I just think if you unbutton it a little bit, it's such a cute look. It's very simple, very classic. You can't go wrong with a white button-up or white top and jeans. Like, it just it just makes you feel put together. But with the little bralette, it like sexifies it a little, and I think it's so cute. All right, so we know cargos are huge. I have these pair that I got from Target last year and I love wearing them with a bodysuit because they're kind of like, not like low rise, but like mid rise. They aren't super tight or anything like that. So I like pairing them with a bodysuit and then I always like to throw over something like a denim jacket or like this instance, I decided to just throw over a white button up. Now I know that the whites are a little bit different, but like, again, I don't really care that much. So you could throw a different color bodysuit. I could have done it with black, I could have done it with brown, anything, but just using a button up as like a little jacket to cover you is such an easy way to layer and feel a little bit warmer headed into those fall months. Speaking of layering, you guys know my obsession with athletic dresses has run so deep, but I still like something to throw over it to not feel so like naked. When I have like short bottoms and spaghetti straps, I feel a little bit naked, okay? So I like throwing this on if I'm gonna be running to the grocery store or just in general, running some errands. I don't like to be completely um, just plain in my athletic dresses. I like to have something, so throw on that with cute pair of Converse and a little hat and it makes it a full outfit rather than just an athletic dress and I think it's so stinking cute. Okay, this one's very preppy of me. Very cute, very like girly, very, she belongs to a country club maybe one day. Um, but a little scarf around the neck, I've been loving that trend. I know it's very spring, but I still think you can end of summer it. Um, floral, so cute. You could always get deeper florals or like a navy would be really cute with some dark jeans that are a little bit cropped, a cute shoe and a belt to match. Perfection. Tuck it all the way in or just tuck it in the front. So cute, such a structured fitted look and it's literally basics with accessories. All right, my last two are probably my most worn ways for sure. The first is these sweat shorts with a button up. I know some people are gonna be like, absolutely not Kelly, I've been loving it. Typically I will wear like a patterned one, like a striped one or something like that, but I've just been loving it with a baseball cap and just some sambas, so cute. Just like the perfect run around, but you look cute doing it outfit. You can't tell me otherwise. Like I think it's adorable and I love the sneaker trend and I feel like sweat shorts are, these length of sweat shorts are perfection. I own them in two colors now. I love the new taupe that I just got and I want them in navy as well. Um, and I'm gonna be wearing those a ton headed into early fall where it's like kind of chilly, but not chilly sweat shorts are where you go for. But again, a great example of classic structured with party on the bottom slash pajama on the bottom. And last but not least is my favorite way to recycle my button ups, which 
is as a swimsuit cover-up. I feel like it is where I throw all my last season button-ups that are not even like last season, maybe three seasons, whatever. They just end up in my swim drawer and they're swim cover-ups because they can continue to be used, but I always like a fresh, fresh crispy one when mine are starting to look a little dingy slash stained slash, I don't know, you know, they're looking a little crusty dusty. So I recycle those to swim cover-ups. For the sake of the video, I showed the one that I was wearing because I wanted to show all the outfits with the same button-up, but I just refresh and reuse and that's a perfect way to use a white button up that no longer is serving you in your everyday life. Throw it for a swim cover up. And I love this. I love this look. It's my favorite cover up ever. All right, you guys, that's it. Those are my 10 outfits. I hope this video inspired you to bust out that white button up shirt or maybe get a new one or get one for the first time if you've never had one. Um, it can be worn so casually. It can be dressed up. It's the perfect addition to your capsule wardrobe, like your vault wardrobe, not a capsule, like a vault, like your forever revolving <laughs> staples. I swear that's it. And I absolutely loved making this video. You do not have to go high end with your button up. This specific button up, I don't even know if it's available. I will check and I will link it if it is, um, is from Target. I typically go pretty cheap with my button ups. I do highly recommend Abercrombie's button ups. They are some of my all time favorites. Um, and they're within that mid price range, especially since you can always get a good sale on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if there's any other specific style item that you want me to style a bunch of different ways. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching so much and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon.